Good morning and welcome to Heronbrook Farm. It's really lovely to have you back again. We haven't done a sheep video for ages and it's coming up to Ward's lambing time of year so we thought we'd um, take you along with us today when we go up and check the sheep. They're up on their winter grazing. Um, so let's go and have a look at them. First thing I need to do is go and get some feed. It's really icy today. Right, so we're on the way. It's about a mile, uh, the winter grazing. Uh, pretty icy today, so we'll just take it nice and steady. Uh, when we get there, we always uh, check in to see the piglets and calves before we go and check the sheep as well. Cows. I could be really tempted by some of these. They are gorgeous, they're so gentle, and they've had quite a few calves recently as well. So we're off to check the sheep now. I've got the buckets of feed in the car. Um, I've got a lot of things in my pocket. This is my sheep checking jacket, and it means I've got things like my gloves with uh, leather hands in case I need to grab brambles or trees or electric fencing. Always the bailing twine. Um, <laughs> a knife. <laughs> And because we have COVID, I do have some anti-back in the pocket as well. Some really good scissors. These are electrician scissors, so they're great for cutting through electric fencing if I need to. Obviously my other glove. Ah, a rustly packet, which is really good for distracting and attracting a sheep. <laughs> Christmas party hat, that shouldn't be there. And some dog treats when I'm out with the dogs. So there we go. Everything you need to do sheep checks. So what are we looking for when we do sheep checks? We do these every day, at least once a day, particularly this time of year. We're looking for their general health. I'm checking to uh, see what's lame, if they've got any brambles uh, caught up in them. Obviously checking there's no escapees and looking at the fence and the quality of the fencing and how much grass they've got. How quickly do I need to move them onto some more uh, grazing? A real worry at the moment uh, are dogs off leads. There's been a massive increase in people walking out in the countryside, which is fantastic. But a lot of people are letting their dogs off leads and just chase sheep. And I do really worry about that every day. So let's get to ours and check if they're okay. We've turned up today, the electric fence is up. They're all together, which I don't like. It means they've been scared by something. Um, there is some shooting over there, possibly been a walker go through, um, but they, they don't seem hot and stressed and panting, so that's good. So I'm gonna feed them. While we're doing that, I've spotted one that's got a bramble. So when I feed them, they'll come in. We'll try and use the opportunity to get the bramble off her. That's what's upset them. <laughs>
fencing. We've got a solar powered charger here and it just gives um, the power, the kick to the electric wire. Um, it's, all on. it's all working, it's got the sun on it just. It's all connected up. Yep, it's working. Good. It's a very gentle kick, but it's just enough to keep the sheep on the right side of it. Grand. So the sheep are fed and fine, the electric fencing's all good, so we can go and head back to the car. So that's it, we're all done here. Back to the farm now for some hot chocolate and thawing out. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the sheep, uh, meeting the flock. We'll be covering them shortly again because we'll be scanning them soon. So we'll make sure we film that for you as well. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, uh, hit like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.